Yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I want to talk about does being married make you a simp? All right, so I've been seeing guys talk about this, you know, saying that, oh, you know, if you're married, you're simping. I had a dude leave a comment on my video today that I put up where he was like, oh, you know, you're a simp because you're married and all this other nonsense, right? See, what happens is, is that simping, let's first talk about what simping is, right? Simping is when you are putting a woman above you, when you're putting a woman on a pedestal, when you're doing anything and everything to please that woman so that she'll be with you, right? So in any situation you're in with a woman, you could be simping. So you could be hooking up with a chick and you're simping. You could be just dating a chick, you're simping. You could have a girlfriend and be simping, or you could have a wife and be simping, right? So it's not necessarily the label on the relationship, right? But what happens is, is more so your how you're going about the relationship, your intentions in the relationship. That's going to display if you're simping or not. Cause you know, see, you know, I was watching um, uh, O'Shea Du Jackson's uh, video. He had this video. We had some guests on there. Shout out to O'Shea, where they were talking about simping. And I think one of the guys was saying, "Oh, you know, marriage is the ultimate form of simping." If I'm not mistaken, I think he said that. And basically, you know, when dudes talk about this stuff, they talk about all the horror stories like, oh, but, you know, you're going to get with your wife and she's not going to want to have sex with you anymore. And then you're going to get divorced and you're going to have to pay alimony. You're going to have to do all this other shit. Right. And so what happens is, is that a lot of these guys don't realize that when it comes to you being married. Right. If you are doing everything right, you're vetting the chick making sure she's the right chick. Um, you are being masculine, you're being a leader, right? You'll get married and everything will be cool, right? Everything will turn out fine, you'll be all right. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of these dudes who have never been married, you understand what I'm saying? Who have never been in any type of relationship like that, uh, think they know what they're talking about, right? But the thing is, is that if you are with a chick and you are bending over backwards, trying to please her, doing all this other extra shit just for her, you're simping. But it's not exclusive to marriage or, or marriage isn't the ultimate form of simping. You know what I'm saying? Because you have men out there who are married who don't simp like myself. Right? So you can't just say being married is simping, right? Because what guys think, they think, oh, well, you know, if you get married, then everything goes to shit and you're just doing it for the woman. You understand what I'm saying? And so what happens is that if you are putting her on a pedestal, if you're doing everything just for her and you're and you don't, you know, you're just doing this because you think this is how you can get her. You think this is how you can have her. Then, yeah, you're simping. But just being married within itself doesn't mean you're simping. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, it, it's funny how this internet shit, it's like dudes just, they're not living real life. So they don't realize that there are guys out there who are married, who are not simping, who actually have good marriages, who actually like being married who have women who respect them, who have women who basically, you know, um, treat them like they're a king. So these guys aren't out here simping. They're in relationships that's working because they're doing the things that they should be doing as a man. So when dudes be talking all of this stuff like, oh, well, you're simping because of this and you're simping because of that, a lot of these dudes don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because being married within itself does not make you a simp. You understand what I'm saying? The simping comes with your intentions and your actions. Right? So the act of getting married isn't simping. 
if you are the type of guy who wanted to get married, you wanted this chick to be your wife, you wanted this to go down, then you're not simping. Right? So, a lot of dudes need to kind of like, kind of like get off it because they don't know what they're talking about in this situation. It's just weird to me. How dudes, they always looking at the aspects of it that are negative, you know, as far as like marriage is concerned. And they'll basically be like, oh, well, you shouldn't get married because this, this, and this, and that. And on top of that, you're simping if you do. But they're, they're, they keep forgetting. They keep forgetting the guys who are married, who aren't simping. The guys who are married, who have good relationships. The guys who are married, who wanted to be married. You feel what I'm saying? And they're not just getting married because they feel like they have to. Right? What about those guys? Those guys are not simping. So you can't say marriage is the ultimate form of simping, or you can't say being married within itself is just simping because it's not. You see what I'm saying? So come on, guys. Just just stop the nonsense. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com